everybody, we're here at the Glass Recreation Center for this week's Did You Know? Did you know that about 30% of East Texans are considered to be obese and 7 out of 10 considered to be overweight? According to a recent report, nationwide two-thirds of adults and nearly one-third of children and teens are overweight or obese, placing them at increased risk for chronic illnesses like type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Texas ties with Kentucky as the 10th most obese state in the nation. You know, 30 percent of East Texans are obese, so if the trends continue, then by 2050, Almost half of East Texas will be considered obese. So if we don't take action now to where we educate children who are going to become adults in the future, and if we don't advocate to adults currently that they should change their behavior and their attitude and their knowledge about living healthier, then the trends are just going to continue to get, get worse and worse. So the time to do something was yesterday. Well, it's become so serious, that was one of the reasons the Fit City Tyler Coalition was created. Um, I think they started in 2010, and that was with my boss, the CEO of the health department, George Roberts, and then uh, one of the editors of the Tyler paper, Dave Barry, they decided to form this coalition with health professionals, um, gym owners, schools, uh, interested businesses, and getting a community-wide approach to educating the public about why obesity is such a problem. One of Fit City's newest programs is Lighten Up East Texas, a regional weight loss challenge being promoted across 35 East Texas counties that kicks off November 3rd at Bergfeld Park. Those interested can weigh in at that time or at other weigh-ins later this year and early next year. Well, it's, it's different than the Biggest Loser competition in that we have prizes the grand prize is a brand new car donated by Alan Samuels, East Texas Dodge. And for anyone in any of the 35 counties that loses at least 5% of their body weight over a six month period, you're eligible to win the new car, um, Brookshire's gift cards, um, we're having travel packages, vacation packages. So any and all the prizes, everybody has an equal chance to win. Participants are also encouraged to sign up as teams, something that could help them with accountability and motivation. Uh, there can be husband wife teams, family teams, um, if you work out with somebody, if, um, if you want to just form a team with a, a sports league that you play in, um, two people make a team. And having somebody that you can hold accountable and somebody that can hold you accountable will be more likely to encourage them to stay in the challenge and for them to change how they live. Deborah Morris has seen a change in her life since she's taken up walking for the last year. She walks about three miles a day, five days a week to help avoid cardiovascular disease. When you first start out, you might not be able to walk as fast, you might just be able to walk a mile, but if you just keep exercising every day, you know, coming in to build up, and it's important that you get out and exercise, that you do some type of activity, you know, uh, for your health. A lot of people understand that it is actually for your health. It could actually make a difference in how long you live. And it's that life change that becomes the real reward of getting fit and being health conscious, whether you win a contest or not. Part of the incentive is that you can win a great prize entering the contest. But then also, if you are not one of the randomly selected people to get a prize, you still win and that you'll feel better after a six month period. So with this six month window that we have from November to April, you're actually just setting yourself up to become a better version of you by going through this weight loss challenge. For more on fitness, weight loss, and the Lighten Up East Texas contest, check out Tyler Paper Medical Reporter Cassandra Dillard's reports at lightenupeasttexas.com and fitcitytyler.com. Weigh-in locations, how to build a team, and other details also can be found on the Lighten Up East Texas website.